what you tell your team after that one? I can't imagine that's an easy conversation. Oh, that's between me and the team. Hey, coach, um, what do you think the turning point was? And I, and I, and I know that uh, there was bad momentum going into the locker room, but what happened coming out of the locker room with these guys? Um, look, Trace, we gave up 58% in the second half and 50 from three. Um, you know, our, we knew Ethan Thompson was going to put his head down. If he lost, today was his last game. Um, we weren't there. We didn't close the gap on the spin. I failed to get the job done, Tracy, to do you want to know the truth with defensively with this team. I re really failed to get the job done on the defensive end. And it's obviously it's extremely frustrating for me, um, you know, to give up 58 percent repeatedly our second half defense. And, you know, in my mind, that's a lack of toughness, but it's my job. It's my job to find five guys that can get some stops, um, you know, as, as a collective group. Obviously, uh, you know, you can point to free throws. Um, you can point to the fact that uh, we got good shooters that can't make a shot. Um, you know, the, the, with the construction of this team, Tracy, if we don't shoot the three well, we're just not tough and athletic enough to win with defense. And that's off a of big sample size, right? You've seen us. Um, it's just hard for us to grind out victories on the defensive end. You know, I'm just giving you like the, the macro perspective of our team, not this game. You know, we, we've got to, we've got to be, we got guys that are, you know, better shooters than they are defenders. We got to make shots. Yeah, you know, we we made a mistake. I mean, look, you know, to your point, turning point, to me, the first play of the second half, we put in no effort, um, no effort defensively at all. And uh, just let Thompson jump up and shoot a three like, you, you know, like he was just going to go down on his last college game, just on the right wing, away from their bench. You know, we had 16 deflections, Trace, at halftime. But we had 16 with five minutes left in the first half. The last 40 uh, – we played – Five, five to end the half, 20 in the second half, five in overtime. In the last 30 minutes, we had five deflections. Wow. Whoa. In the first 15 minutes, we had 16. So our defensive effort uh, is just is inconsistent, uh, and that, that's our problem. You know, the turning point is we just – we refuse to get in a stance and, and, and get stops. Maybe we got the rest of the media waiting on you. Uh, please feel free to go ahead. We'll hopefully see you in Indianapolis. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it, my friend. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. That's Mick Cronin. And hey, we'll open it up to other questions for Coach. Let's go to Ben Bolch. Hey, Mick, I, I heard what you said there uh, about uh, defensive toughness, uh, but do you feel like maybe your guys got a little bit tight there in the second half, given what proceeded this game and kind of a familiar. no not at all Ben and I know I know where you're going with it buddy I, I just don't believe in that not at all not at all um this is a new season you know and we we, we wiped that the slate clean on Monday um today is a new season it's a different tournament um you know to me that had nothing absolutely nothing to do I, I just I don't believe in excuses at all I, you know, I'm not, I'm not buying into that one. I, I just think we got to, again, it's on me, Ben, you know, I got to get, be able to get, get some guys that can get some stops at winning time. And uh, we just can't, you know, look at their second half stats. It's impossible to win. You give up 58%, 50 from three and, and 10 made free throws. It's I mean, I, literally impossible. Tracy, go ahead. Hey, Mick. I don't know if you thought that was me before, but that wasn't me asking those questions. But um, Jules Bernard uh, led you in scoring. He did a lot of things and then made some mistakes. What kind of game do you have? What, do you, what can you say to him after a game that has some highs and some lows in it like that? Well, right now, you know, we went, win and lose as a team, first of all. Um, you know, since Chris has gone down um, and Johnny was out early, you know, Jules has been rock solid for us all year. You know, he, he, he uh, plays 38 minutes tonight, 7-13 to from the field, 
10 rebounds. So he's our, you know, he's by far our best perimeter defender. So um, this guy's got to keep his head up and keep getting better. He gets better because he works hard in practice. Every day, his efforts by far the most consistent of any guy on our team. That's why he's improved the most since I've gotten here. How tough of a matchup was Zalatiche? It seemed like he was able to do some things just because of his size and athleticism. Yeah, we knew he was going to be a problem. Um, but our game plan was to not let him catch it in the low post. We failed miserably at that. Adam Grossbart. Nick, what's your level of concern that these last four games will impact the team's standing with the selection committee on Sunday? I, I, I apologize. That sounds like it's garbled, so I can't really – I couldn't even hear uh, who's name. What's your level of concern that these last four games will impact the team's standing with the selection committee on Sunday? That's not my – right now, I don't know. You know, I just walked out of a locker room of a tough game, so – Sam, go ahead. Hey, Coach, I know you're already talking about Jules, but just that, that last play of overtime when he tried to kick out and turned it over, what do you think went wrong on that play, and how do you fix that with your kind of last-second management going forward? Um, look, I think he, he, he was trying to make sure he didn't charge. Um, you know, um, he was trying to do the right thing. So um, things happen. And lately, everything that can happen has happened to the to the Bruins this year. We've had a lot of lot of tough from injuries, uh, you know, personal issues, injuries, and a lot a lot of stuffs happened to us. The guys have fought through it all. So, when the kid's trying to make the right play, um, you just teach you know, you do the same thing that uh, my dad told me when I was eight years old. Man, you get to the foul line, you got to slow down, get under control. Um, just keep teaching, but he was trying to do the right thing. And then uh, uh, Johnny didn't really play too much in the second half. Was he 100%? Was he okay? I wouldn't say he's 100% by any stretch. I thought he was getting fatigued and it was killing him defensively because he, he had been, um, hadn't practiced. He hadn't, hadn't done much Saturday, Sunday, Monday. He practiced uh, half speed Tuesday. We tried to baby him as much as possible to get him to game time. Any other questions for coach? Ben, go ahead. How will you handle these next few days? Are you guys going to take them off? Are you going to get back together and practice? How will you kind of handle it? Um, really hadn't thought about that when Ben didn't plan on uh, not playing tomorrow. Um, so uh, we'll figure things out. We'll definitely watch some film um, and continue to try to improve. Uh, but as far as, uh, you know, conditioning and uh, at some point, I mean, even if tomorrow we'll at least watch film, I would say off the top of my head. But it's hard for me to say, Banks, I hadn't really planned it out. You know, probably be filmed tomorrow and then back, uh, start trying to build back up. Um, I'm a big believer in individual instruction. So even if we're not killing each other in practice setting, it's late in the year, got to get in the gym and continue to improve guys' skill level and their shooting. Because right now, um, it's hard for us to win games where when we don't make open shots from our best shooters. You know, when Jake, Jake, Jake Johnny, and, and Dave are three for 13, it's, it's just hard for us. Because right now, the way our roster is constructed, we need to be a, a lethal three-point shooting team because we're not a lethal athletic team defensively. And so we just got to keep trying to – got to play the hand you're dealt right now. So we, we got to try to get those guys in the gym and get them back where they're making open shots. Uh, and obviously, get, you know, Cody's got a – he's been great for us all year, but today was by far uh, not his best game, as you know. He really struggled today, really struggled.